What up guys, it is Justice here and welcome to a video around the Sears Village Achievement Diaries and the main reason for me actually completing all of these tasks on Sunday afternoon uh, on stream by the way as well, it took me around two and a half hours to complete all of the tasks all the way from the start because I'd literally pretty much not completed any of them from easy all the way up to elite completely done and the main reason for me completing these tasks was to obtain the Elite Enhanced Excalibur. Now the Enhanced Excalibur it has very very good features upon it now where you can use it and utilize it within PVM scenarios which the second part of this video will be about. I'm firstly just going to go through a few of the tasks which I've completed. So as you can see I'm literally just completely going through all of the tasks I'm achieving here. This task which is on screen at the moment was probably one of the most annoying ones because I'd actually had a maple shield bow and I didn't realize that you needed a normal shield bow and I was going crazy and raging so much I was like god damn it why am I not completing this range guild task and it was very very frustrating um, but either way I thought it was loads of fun this pyro lord by the way as you can see on screen my little familiar I have with me he looks incredible on the highest quality graphics for runescape I mean look at him he is so adorable as well he's slash adorable slash like a demon so yeah it's, it's quite ironic but he, he really is adorable and he looks just like the demon out of Lord of the Rings I've got to say um, I don't know when they reworked all of those power lords but I've got to say it looks awesome so I did loads of tasks it was about I don't know how many there are 100 odd tasks uh, within two and a half hours I was really slow though compared to how fast I could have done it I was quite a newbie throughout it this one was a pain in the ass. This was an elite task called uh, making an admiral pie from scratch. You had to go and fish the tuna, fish the salmon and all sorts. It was insane. Uh, but I had help from a couple of friends there as well. And you had to do all of it within the area of Sears Village. But I completed all of the tasks, guys. I was very happy with my progress. And I went over to the Lady of the Lake to go and obtain my reward. Um, also, a little trick for anyone who wants Excaliburs. You can stack them up. Um, once you get a normal Excalibur... Uh, before you actually, um, before you create or turn it into an enhanced Excalibur, once it's a normal one, if you just drop it on the floor and you talk to the Lady of the Lake again, you can obtain another Excalibur. So essentially just drop them all on the floor, keep obtaining like a few, put them all in your inventory and then talk to her again and then turn all of them into an enhanced Excalibur. So just a little tip there. Now the second half of this video is going to go into uh, the PVM scenarios and where the enhanced Excalibur should be, is best utilized. Um, yeah, so I'll just get straight into that now. Okay, so let's get into this awesome effect of the Enhanced Excalibur. So if you've completed all of the Elite tasks, then automatically the Enhanced Excalibur, when you use the special ability, it will last for 40 seconds rather than 20. The special ability, it increases your defense by 15%, so it gives it a 15% boost over that uh, 40 second duration. And it heals yourself, it heals the player for 400 life points every 4 seconds. So that is a lot of health over time. So obviously 400 every four seconds. So that totals up to 4,000 life points over a time and a duration of time. And also because it's healing you every four seconds and it's through a special effect of the Excalibur, it doesn't actually use up your adrenaline either. So the prime example, as you can see on screen of where to use this is at Rise of the Six. Because when you're at Rise of the Six, you're constantly getting hit by the brothers, especially if you're having to tank two brothers as well, you are constantly getting hit. It's easy to get comboed and just having that effect there in the back Ground every four seconds healing you it does decrease your chances of getting a combo especially with the uh, new mechanic changes as well with rise of the six specifically uh, especially if you get shadow realmed all the damage now is doubled the enhanced excalibur will help a lot over that 40 second duration now there is a five minute cooldown and that five minute cooldown is shared between your guthix blessing your rejuvenate and the ice asylum but again you're not going to be using rejuvenate because you requires a shield and you have to hold the shield throughout the time as well with the excalibur when you use it you don't actually have to have it equipped anymore so you can just whack out your offhand weapon let's say your offhand ascension crossbow and then you sorted um, also let's say ice asylum that's more for group bossing so again if you duo rack soaring viraguing base tanking then yes the ice asylum would be useful but if you're dpsing purely by yourself then again excalibur you might as well utilize that special effect so it comes in very handy and another situation probably would be slayer especially if you're at higher level slayer monsters and the excalibur healing over over time effect would come in extremely useful useful again because you will be dual wielding and dpsing and you want to just use the excalibur in the background as like an indirect healing effect without reducing your adrenaline again so it really helps if you're a dpser i think rise of the six is probably one of the best places to use it at i have saw a lot of people using it i really wanted it myself so i went out there grabbed it and uh, yeah justice was served uh, within sir's village and i was able to obtain the enhanced excalibur uh, with the elite 
um, bonus effect as well. So, and another couple of effects which I've just thought about a couple of days later whilst editing this video. Um, phase 4 Araxi would come in very useful having the Excalibur. Those extra heals every 4 seconds would be extremely useful because it's very easy to get comboed there. And guys, just make sure the effect just isn't on cooldown. Again, it lasts at 40 seconds, so potentially put it into play halfway through phase 4, switch on your offhand Excalibur really quickly, use the special attack, whack it off, 40 seconds there, save you getting comboed maybe towards the end. And also DKs right at the beginning uh, to save you getting comboed by all three kings. That gradual healing effect will come in extremely useful. Is the Enhanced Excalibur a necessity and can you cope with PVM high level without using it? Of course you can, but isn't it just nice just to have those extra gradual heals without your adrenaline reducing, invest two and a half hours of your time, get that Enhanced Excalibur, of course you need the skills and the quests, but in due time, get that Excalibur, exploit it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it informative. Thanks guys for watching, happy scaping, good luck on your PVM trips, and I'll see you in my next video.